Hi, this is John Potoshnik. I'm an artist living in Wiley, Texas, which is a town oh, about 30 miles northeast of Dallas. I'm an oil painter of landscapes. I uh, typically work on canvas or board. And what you see behind me is how every single one of my paintings begins. They begin on a plain white surface. And on that surface, I hope to communicate something of value and worth to all those people that view my paintings and purchase them. Some of you know who I am. You have supported my work over the years. You have encouraged me. You have been my students. You have even become collectors. And uh, it's you who have made it possible for me for 30 years now to be a professional artist in the fine arts. And so I just want to express my appreciation to you and a, and a sincere thank you. You know, when people meet me for the first time, they'll typically ask, John, how do you pronounce your name? What nationality is that? You know, and I get it. My, my whole life, people have fumbled and stumbled over the name, and it's a difficult name, I admit. In fact, yesterday I had a phone call from a salesperson, and she said, is this John Pochinik? And sometimes in those situations, I'll just say no. But I've been called uh, Potashnik, uh, Potoshnik, Potoshnik, I've even been called uh, Poto and Potato Chip. Uh, friends of my dad nicknamed him Spud for, uh, for a number of years. So we've been called, you know, all kinds of things. I remember a commercial years ago that ended with the phrase, I don't care what you call me, just call me. You know, and I kind of like that to a certain degree. Um, but, you know, a, a simple way to remember it for you all would be to think of it phonetically if you think of the author Edgar Allan Poe and then think of your toe, and then shh, and nick, and you put all that together, it comes out patoshnik, patoshnik. So I hope that helps, takes some of the confusion out of it and helps you uh, better able to pronounce it. It's an Austrian name, however, I was not born in Austria, I was born in England in a town called St. Ives in Cornwall County, it's in southern England. If any of you know anything about art history, you will know that St. Ives during the last half of the 1800s, early part of the 1900s, was a thriving art community, art colony. And one of my favorite movements was sort of grounded there, and that's the naturalism movement. It was not just an English movement, but it was throughout Europe and ran parallel with um, the Impressionist movement. And another of my favorite movements is the Barbizon School of France. You have artists in the Barbizon School of Corot, uh, Daubigny and Millet, and uh, one of my favorites in the naturalism school in England was uh, Stanhope Forbes. So those are, even to this day, those two movements are my most favorite and most influential uh, in my life. Uh, some of you, uh, oh yes, I wanted to also tell you that uh, my dad was stationed in England during World War II, and that's where he met my mom. And uh, after the war, my mom was one of those notorious uh, British war brides that we came to America aboard the Queen Mary, which is now docked in Long Beach, California, and has been turned into a hotel convention center. Uh, not all of you, of course, know me. Those of you that don't and are viewing this video, I hope you'll go to my website and check out my work. Uh, see what other people have discovered. You can find my work at potoshnik.com. P-O-T-O-T-S-C-H-N-I-K. There you can sign up for my newsletter. It's really easy to do. Uh, just your first name and your email address, and I can guarantee you, you will not be disappointed because I have a special offer every month that I offer just to my newsletter subscribers. You will also find on my website that I write a weekly blog, and I have been for three years. It's informational, educational, and inspirational. And I have uh, quite a few people that read that every month, have become followers of it, and I believe you can also be one of those people. Uh, this is my first video, and I intend to do more and uh, give you little snippets from time to time that are going to be very helpful, and I think that you will sincerely appreciate So. Thank you for tuning in. I sincerely appreciate it. Until we talk again, I'll see you next time.